And I got the shade Cream Puff. <gasps> no! Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We have a lot of goodies in front of me. I have a lot of random stuff. It's candles, makeup, hair products, accessory, like just a lot. <laughs> I've been shopping, okay? I have been shopping and I am not sorry about it, but um, get comfortable, go ahead, get a snack, get a glass of wine and let's get into it. All right, let's start with candles first. I just got these yesterday and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. Forever Mood, this is um, the spring collection and if you didn't know, this is Jackie Ina's brand. So I ended up getting the entire collection and I also picked up the little minis. I always do this every time she launches her candles because I feel like if I come across some that I like from the mini set, the ones like, I don't know, I just always feel like they're going to sell out. So that's why I always get both sets. But um, I already smelled these and let me just say Butterfly Effect is my favorite one out of all of them. It's so sweet, so smooth, so creamy. What's the... Oops, sorry y'all, I just hit the mic. What is the notes of butterfly effect? Rose, berry, um, violet, jasmine, musk, amber, and sandalwood. But it smells so creamy to me, like really, really soft and creamy. Almost like, I don't know, like a strawberry cream something I don't know but it smells really really good it's definitely one of my favorite ones out of all of them they all smell good but this one just really 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 stood out to me but yeah that's the little mini set and then the bigger set I mean it's just it's the same candles it's just uh ugh. girl this thing is heavy it's just they're just bigger but cute 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 packaging love 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 like every set that she comes out with I I'm just obsessed with because they always look so good and they smell delicious but yeah I got those and then I grabbed the new Chanel bronzer it's a new shade y'all know they had this one shade for years and they never came out with other shades but I saw that they came out with a deeper shade and I've been wanting this for a while so it's the um, healthy glow bronzing cream and I got the shade tan deep bronze and I will definitely swatch this for you guys so y'all can see. Here is the color. I've already watched a couple of reviews on this. But I haven't really seen any reviews um, on people that are like my complexion or a little bit darker. So I don't know how this is going to look. But this thing is really, really, really creamy. Like it feels... I don't know. It doesn't feel as thick as the uh, the uh, it doesn't feel as thick as the Danessa Myricks, and it also doesn't feel as thick as the Soul Body um, Bronzer. It feels really, really, really thin, like super duper thin. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna bronze my face, but there is a swatch right there. I wonder if I'm able to. Yeah, it just looks too close to my complexion, like super duper close Ooh, I don't know girl I don't know they definitely could have gave us some more shades like what are y'all doing y'all could have gave us more y'all could have gave us at least three four more shades darker than this like girl mm. but you guys will see this in a tutorial like a testing new product video because like I said I've been wanting to try this for years and we'll see i mean i don't know doesn't look like it'll be something i would love because right now i'm really stuck on my danessa myricks bronzer and that thing is deeper than this and i actually had danessa myricks on today um but i don't know i don't know y'all see it but i don't know so just the other day i went to cvs for like two things and I ended up getting more than what I needed y'all and I haven't been in CVS since it's been over a year since I walked into a CVS so I went a little crazy but I went ahead and picked up some more of these bliss makeup melt um, makeup removers I don't use these to take off my makeup I usually just use this um, to wipe around the perimeter of my face because sometimes you know makeup you can you know 
kind of miss that spot because it does go into the hairline. So I usually do that before I actually wash my entire face. So that's what I use makeup wipes for and I also use them to, you know, like clean up mess. Just, I don't know. I just have them because I need them. Um, and then I saw, now I don't usually get things from Physician Formula because they don't have stuff for me, like my complexion. I mean, they have a couple of things, but let's just be honest. They don't really carry a lot for um, deeper complexions, but I saw this and um, yeah, so it's the finishing powder and it's a new shade. It's the shade medium deep and I felt like I could probably work with this because it, look, it actually looks like something I could use and that does not, you know, happen often with Physician Formula products. So I want to do, I haven't done a full face of drugstore, pro, like testing new drugstore products in a while. So that's what I want to do. And this, um, I want to say this is going to be one of the products, but I don't know y'all. This looks promising. It looks promising. Look at the color. I don't know. It looks, okay. Does it not open up all the way? It's not opening up all the way. I don't want to break it. Ooh, it smells like sunscreen. You know, I've seen, um, well not seen, but I've heard people talk about their bronzer, how it smells like sunscreen. So I wanna know if that's what their product, like, do their products smell like that? Cause I always hear people talk about the bronzer. But that color looks promising y'all. It looks promising. So yeah, this'll be my like finishing powder, something that I just lightly brush all over the face once or, um, you know, like a setting powder to set my liquid foundation. So I will be testing this out. Ooh, I did not know it had SPF in it. Cool, it has SPF 20. Nice. Yeah, so we'll test that out. And I also came across another finishing powder from Flower Beauty. I did not know that they had the shade because Flower Beauty is also, um, the only thing I like from Flower Beauty is their brow products and also their um, mascara. Um, and they also have a couple of lip products that I really like. They don't have a lot that I love from Flower Beauty, but I did not know that they had this, this. <laughs> it's the Perfecting Powder in the shade um, Mocha. So another color that looks pretty promising, like pretty promising. So I don't know, um, I'm gonna use one of these in the video. I don't wanna use both, but I definitely will. I'm gonna incorporate more drugstore videos on my channel because y'all know that is, that is my lane. I love drugstore products. So um, let me know which one you guys will be interested in the most in my next testing new drugstore product video. So Flower Beauty or Physician's Formula. Another, oh, I saw another thing from Flower Beauty. I didn't know that they had this either. This is the um, Seal the Deal Luminizing Setting Spray. And y'all know I have been really into that glowy, like skin-like look. And this is supposed to give you that, you know, glowy look on the skin. So yeah, I'm excited. I am very, very, very excited for that. And I also grabbed some more of my Remy Lashes, the Style 778s. I'm actually running low on these. And this was the last one that they had. So I figured, let me go ahead and get it because it was the last one. Um, and I definitely didn't need these, but I saw them. I was like, I've never tried these shades. So let's try it out. Um, some more new things from Flower Beauty that I did not know that they had. This is the Scribble Stick. And this is for the eyes and the lips. So I got these shades to go on the lips. I probably, I mean, I'll use this color probably on the eyes, but more for my lips because y'all know I love me a brown lip liner. So let, let's actually open it and see how they look. Yeah, I definitely didn't need any more lip products because I have a ton and I feel like it's time for me to start decluttering again. I just decluttered like right before the year started and I decluttered half, like almost my entire collection. So I feel like it is that time for me to declutter again. Oh, this is a pretty color. This is caramel. This is a pretty color. I'm gonna try to, oh, this is pretty. 
This is actually really pretty. Wow. I can actually see this all over the lips without a lip liner. That's a pretty color, y'all. Really, really pretty. Okay. Okay. I am excited for that. And then this next color is called Espresso. I have a feeling this is gonna be a really pretty chocolate brown. Hopefully it is. Hopefully it doesn't pull. You know how some brown like lip stuff from the drugstore when you put it on, especially on deeper complexions, it doesn't look brown. So hopefully this, ooh, ooh, this actually looks good. I haven't even swatched it. Oh, Y'all. Girl, wow. And they feel really, really, really smooth. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I am gonna have to try this ASAP. I'm gonna have to try this ASAP. Okay, yes. And then I picked up two lip liners from NYX Cosmetics. I definitely didn't need these, but I've never seen these shades. And I'm pretty, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're pretty old. I just haven't come across the shades in person. Um, it's called, I have Toast and then I have Cocoa. Wait, do I have Cocoa? I probably have Cocoa. But I've never seen, um, I've never seen Toast before. So we're gonna open and see. We're gonna open both of them actually. Yeah, this is gonna be a long video because I have a ton of, other like makeup products that I want to open and swatch and stuff. But let's see what toast looks like. Ooh, this looks like, okay. This looks very, very similar to Mac cork. Very similar to it. Like almost, almost spot on to Mac cork, honestly. But yeah, I've never seen this color in person. I think I've seen it like online and I always just like overlooked it or just didn't think to get it because I felt like it would be too light. But that actually looks really, really good. Really good. Okay, let me see what Coco looks like. I want to say, do I have Coco? Girl, that's how you know. That's how you know you have too much because you don't even remember <laughs> let's see oh coco looks red oh it's actually pretty though yeah i don't have this color it's definitely a terracotta red looking color but it's really pretty really pretty so that is everything that i picked up from cvs now let's do let's do ulta since this box is like right here so Got a little Ulta box. Y'all, I haven't shopped at Ulta in forever. <laughs> forever! So, I got a new body scrub as if I needed another one, but this one is always sold out. So, I went ahead and put my email in so that they can notify me whenever it um, restocks, but it's a Tree Hut um, body scrub, and it's a new one. Um, this is the, uh, the, it's the Watermelon Shea Sugar Scrub. I don't know why this one is always sold out. So let's smell it and see if it smells good. Tree Hut has good scrubs, so I'm pretty, I know how they are, but I just wanna smell it. Okay, this smells ju like, just like a watermelon. Smell, no, okay. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It doesn't smell like a fresh watermelon. It just smells like candy. Yeah, straight up watermelon candy and it looks, just like, like it has little black seeds in it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's not real black seeds, but when you look at it, it looks just like watermelon, almost like a slushy from Sonic. It looks just like it. Oh, that smells so good. I am excited. But yeah, I got that. Um, as soon as I got the email that this was, you know, back in stock, I went ahead and put it in my cart. So this next thing I got, I don't see any reviews on this. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are reviews out there, but I haven't really just seen 
people talk about it. And it's a foundation. This is called the EXA, EXA High Fidelity Semi Satin Foundation. And the shade I got, I don't even know if this is gonna be my shade, but um, Peyton, number 170. So yeah. Um, oh, Bimmy actually, I think I tweeted about this in the past and Bimmy was telling me that she's tried this out and she liked it. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna be my shade because the bottle looks pretty light, I don't know. But um, yeah, so we're gonna try it. Haven't heard, you know, really anyone talk about it. Let's see. Ooh, oh wait, wait, wait. Do you pull, oh, girl, just pull the top off. But it does come with a pump, which I'm glad about. Um, it says, shake well, charged with anti-pollution actives. Let's put a little bit on my hand. Or should we wait until a first impression? I don't know, I wanna see it. I wanna see the color. I'm just gonna uh, take a little dot of the color on my hand and see. Cause I might have to get another shade. Well, I don't know, it might, it might work. It might work, girl. It doesn't have, well, yeah, it doesn't really have a smell. And it feels and look like it will be a full coverage because the way that's blending out with my finger. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, that might be a good color. It might be, we'll see, but I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, a lot of this stuff I got because I wanna do, you know, like a, you know, testing new product video. So I saw Maybelline have these new, um, what are these? Slip, no slip pencils in their eyeliners. I got black and I also got deep brown because I always like to wear brown on my waterline when I don't wanna wear too much, you know, when I don't want it to look too harsh down there. But this is how they look. Cute packaging, very cute. Very cute. So these will be in the testing new drugstore. And I also got like a throwback, a shade that I've never had. It is a MAC blush. And this is in the shade Raisin. I know tons of people rave about this shade and I never owned it. So I wanted to get this color. Cute. There it is right there. I feel like this will be the perfect, perfect. I always say this, perfect every day. <laughs> Honestly, you can wear whatever you want every day. But this is a good shade for just to pop on and go if you want a full face of makeup or just a really soft, light face of makeup. I think this will be a really good color for that. But I will say I'm excited that I finally have it because I know this is a lot of people's favorite. Um, shade in the MAC blush. And then the last few things I got, I actually ended up getting a PR package. I don't even, girl, that, it always happens that way. Like every time I see like new things on Ulta or Sephora, I purchase it and then I end up getting a PR package and not even knowing that I'm on PR. <laughs> so, but anyway, it's from L'Oreal and I rarely get things from L'Oreal, but they have these new glosses. It's called the Infallible Pro, Infallible Plump Pro Gloss. They already have the Infallible Pro Glosses, but this is, I don't know, I guess it's a new formula. I'm not sure, but I ended up getting the clear one. And this actually looks like a frosty, like a, not a frosty, but a, um, it doesn't look clear, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna go in clear. Even the applicator is different. Mm. It smells minty and sweet at the same time. So yeah, it's just a straight up clear gloss. I wonder if this is gonna feel tingly on the lips. I'm not sure, but I will sh um, let y'all know in my upcoming videos. This is called um, Radiant Mauve. And I don't, 
they actually sent me other shades in this gloss. So I'm kind of glad that I did get this because they didn't send me these shades. They sent me um, reds and pinks. Ooh, I like this color. Really cute, I like that. I like it. So these next things are super duper duper random. So Robert just got me a Apple Watch and I've been wanting to get some bands for my Apple Watch. So I went on Pinterest just like searching Apple Watch bands cause I like cutesy things. Um, and Pinterest always have like cutesy things. So I came across this brand. It's called Gold Near, and they have the cutest, cutest Apple Watch bands. So I already opened it and played with it, but let me just pull it out. This is how it looks. So I wanted to get a band that is for like, kind of like dressy that will go with my, um, bracelet that I already wear. So this right here is the band. You just slide it on the Apple Watch, but let me get it closer so y'all can see. And you're able to take out some links if you need to. So I've already taken out one link, but I might need to take out another one. I'm not too sure. I haven't even worn this yet, but this is how it looks and it just looks super cute. But yeah, this is the one I would wear if I wanna, you know, be cute and dressed up. I'd wear that with the watch. And then <laughs> I went on Amazon. I actually have some more on the way. And I wanted one that, so the, the band that I already have, it's like a light baby pink and it's like rubber. So I usually wear that when I'm working out. So that way, you know, it won't mess up because the sweat can easily wipe off the band. But I wanted another just super duper casual um, band. So I got this from Amazon, y'all. <laughs> I know, like, Andrea, what are you doing? But I just thought it was cute. It looks just like a scrunchie. Like, let me actually get my watch so y'all can see. All right, so here it is. This is the watch, and this is the gold, or the, I think the rose gold one. So you just easily take off the bands, just like this. Like, you just press a little button on the back, and it comes off, and I wanna show you how this looks. So this is the one I would wear if I'm just, you know, wearing, I don't know, biker shorts, sweatpants, just dressed down and comfortable, kind of like today. So that's why I got this one. And I ended up getting a black one because I thought it was super cute. You know how some people like to wear like scrunchies on their wrists? I don't know, I just thought it was cute. I mean, is it not cute? It is freaking cute to me. So if I don't want it to look like I have on an Apple Watch, I can just have it on my wrist like this and it's just back there so you can't really see it but i still think it looks cute if it's just worn like this like how freaking cute is that it's so casual it's comfortable it stretches and i got the small medium on amazon so yeah i have a black one on the way because i feel like this may get dirty but then again it may not but i wanted to get a black one but i just thought it was cute i mean it's very, very, very relaxed, you know, not too much going on. Just super cute, random. It's just cute and I like cute things. So I wanted to get that. Let me show you this super cute bag that I got from Zara. It is freaking adorable, y'all. Y'all look how stinking cute this bag is how freaking cute is it i just thought it was so cute and i thought it would be the perfect little bag to take with me on vacation and you can wear this two ways you can wear it with just the clear or you can um let me just open it up and show you guys how freaking cute this is if you want to just have this bag just hold this bag, you can wear it by itself. I think this will be really cute with like some linen pants. Um, I don't know, just something beachy and just summery. And it also comes with longer straps. So if you wanna have it like a crossbody, here's a longer strap right here. Or if you just wanna carry this by itself, it just has, I have to cut this off. But if you just wanna carry this by itself, you can do that too. I mean, how freaking cute. And I also like that the hardware on it is gold. If it was silver, I probably wouldn't have gotten this. Cause I don't, I don't know, I don't like silver 
hardware on my um, purses, but I couldn't pass it up. It was just freaking cute. Okay, last few things are from Sephora and we'll be done. So I was influenced by Faye, um, Faye Lene here on YouTube. She and I had dinner the other night and she was raving about this freaking um, hair dryer brush thing. It's from the dry bar. It's the blow dryer brush. And she was telling me how bomb this was. So I put it in my cart. And here we are. But you know what? I like the fact that this is a hair dryer and brush in one. Like you're just using it like you're brushing your hair. But it's blow drying your hair. So I like that idea. So I'm going to try this out for sure. Um, and let y'all know. But this is how it looks. Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Using it on my wigs after I wash them or on my natural hair. I actually have to do this cause I'm getting my hair braided. So I actually have to use this. So I will let y'all know how I feel about it. But yes, Faye, if you're watching, you are the reason for this. I also made a couple of repurchases at Sephora. One of them is in my bathroom. It's the Freck Beauty toner that y'all always hear me talk about. Um, and I also went ahead and repurchased the Tatcha Dewy skin mist. I love this stuff, y'all. I've actually been using the little mini size in a few of my recent tutorials and I just ran out of it. So I went ahead and purchased the, um, the full size because I love it that much. And honestly, I feel like after I finish this, I'm gonna repurchase it because it's definitely taken the place of my uh, Cover FX Dewy Mist because this one, I don't know, it's just something about this one that I freaking love. So I repurchased that and I also repurchased the Huda Beauty Brow Pencils. Hands down the best, 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 best brow pencil. It's super skinny though, so you have to be careful because they will break really easily. But if you want that real hair-like look to your brows, these will do it. Like this is it. It's so good. And I use the shade black brown. So I got two of these. I should have got more than two, but hey, whatever. Um, and I think the video is already up. I don't know if it's up, but it's up on my channel. It's going to be up on my channel if it's not up. Um, so I purchased a few things from the Sephora collection because I wanted to try out a few things and I had the video planned to do anyway. <laughs> and I actually ended up getting a um, brand deal with Sephora collection. So I was like, this could not come at a better time. So, um, and y'all know I've been wanting to do a full face of Sephora collection anyway. So I went ahead and purchased a few things and I have used a couple of these already because I've already filmed the video, but one of them is the Sephora collection mascara. It's the, um, Size Up Volume Extra Large Mascara. This thing is perfect for top lashes. I wouldn't say for the bottom lashes because the wand is so big, but if you want that really full look, this wand will definitely do it because it's super thick and it does a great job with giving me that length that I need for my, my, um, for my lashes. So I got that. And I also picked up a couple of these um, concealers. Now I had to cut out um, the part where I was applying the concealer in that video because I used it, like I didn't use it the way it was supposed to be used. <laughs> so, um, uh, but anyway, it's the Sephora Collection Clear and Cover salicylic acid concealer. This is a spot concealer. So you're supposed to use this on acne spots, dark spots. And I, girl, I was using it under my, I mean, you can, I'm pretty sure you probably can do it that way, but um, they didn't recommend, like they don't recommend you do that. Sephora collection does not recommend you do that. So I had to cut that part out in my um, sponsored video, which I want to say is already up by now, but anyway, um, yeah, so it's supposed to clear acne blemishes and I did get two shades. I got chai. Chai is actually what I have on today. I mean, y'all can't see it cause it's under my foundation, but I put it on my, um, dark spots cause I want to see if it's going to make a difference. So I'm going to use this for it. 
for the next few weeks or so and let y'all know but this is how the concealer tube looks it's really 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 skinny so it's like the perfect size to just put on you know your acne spots dark marks it's the perfect size and this color is literally the perfect 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 shade for me like it blended into my skin i can just wear this and not wear any makeup just put this on my dark spots blend it out with a sponge and i'm good to go but yeah this is in the shade chai and the other shade that i use is actually up here in my vanity so let me grab it okay here it is it's in the shade amber and this is the shade that i was using in the video um and it's more like this is my concealer color it's a brightening color for me but like i said they did not recommend um they don't recommend you use this under your eyes just only use it on your um you know blemishes dark spots and stuff like that because it does have salicylic acid in it but ended up getting both of these and i got some new glosses from the sephora collection this color right here is always sold out so i put my email address in so as soon as they restock the shade they shot me an email and i put it in my cart it's in the shade outrageous number two and to this day it is still sold out like as soon as i purchased this one it was sold out i don't even know why but i mean well, I take that back because it is a pretty nude color, but it's always sold out <laughs> and I just don't understand. Um, these, if I can remember correctly, these kind of feel kind of cold on the lips. Let me actually put some of this on my lips. I want to say it does have that cold feeling. I have like three different lip products on my lips right now, so I probably can't feel it, but yeah, so it does feel kind of cool on the lips, which I love. But isn't that color pretty? Really, really pretty. And the other shade that I got, now this one is still available. This is in the shade Outrageous. Wait. Well, they're called Outrageous. Okay, this is the shade number two. I'm so sorry, y'all. The nude color is in the shade two. And then this lighter color is like a really soft um, pink but it looks clear on the lips. This is in the shade number one. So it's like a, it's just clear, but it looks kind of pink in the tube. Yeah, these are really cold on the lips and I love, love, love that feeling. So I got those. Um, Actually, that's everything that I got from the Sephora collection that I wanted to purchase and try out. Um, but yeah, if I already had that video up, I will have it linked down below in the description. If it's not up, it's coming. So I want to do another one of those testing different um, skin tints. And I just did one a few weeks ago. So I want to do another one. I picked up some new skin tints. And these are from Laura Mercier. And I love the fact that they gave you options to get either the larger size or the smaller size. And y'all know every time they sell smaller like travel size things on Sephora, they don't give you the entire shade range but they did in these and i am so so glad about that so this is the laura mercier tinted moisturizer um this one is oil free it's a uh, natural skin perfector and i got the shade uh now i don't know if this is gonna work for me but i saw tasha washa here on youtube do a tutorial using this shade and she and i wear the same shades and a few foundations so this is the shade 6w1 and i also got the same shade in this one but this one is the tinted moisturizer with broad spectrum spf 30. so i got both and i'm so glad that they came in the shade that i need in the smaller size before i actually purchase the larger size i wish brands would do that more often because we don't always want to get the full size and stuff. And whenever they have smaller like travel size, they don't ever give us the entire shade range. So I appreciate Laura for doing that. Girl, I appreciate you. Oh, let me show you um, how small they, I mean, they're honestly, they're not even that small. Like this is a good freaking size. This is a good size. Cause let's just be honest. How often do we actually use up? <laughs> foundations and skin tints so yes oh another influence 
from Fave, which is this Briogeo Farewell Frizz Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protectant Cream. She was telling me that this is the best, 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 best thing to use when you're blow drying your hair. So I'm gonna try this out along with my dry bar um, blow dryer. And I actually like a lot of things from Briogeo. They have some of the best hair masks and also really good shampoo and conditioner. So I am excited for this. Let me know if you guys have tried this before. So, yes. All right, I had to get this because I used this the last time I went on vacation and I loved, loved, loved it. So I wanna take it again. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. I don't know what it was about this, but when I say, when I was on vac, I was in the Bahamas two years ago, my skin with this on it, it was everything. So I wanted to get another one. Dang, I should've got the travel size one because I might, oh well. This is actually, I can, yeah. I can put this in my carry-on. Um, it has SPF 40. So, and the one that I had with me last time was like a little tiny one and it actually, like I actually was able to use it the whole stay and we were there for like, what, almost two weeks. So, had to get this, this was like a necessity. So I saw Artist Couture came out with some new powders. This is the Multi-Use Beauty Powder and I got the shade Cream Puff. <gasps> no! This is not the shade. They gave me the wrong shade. The wrong shade. Are you freaking serious? I wanted to get the dark. Girl, I'm gonna have to use this for my, um, dang, where's my phone? Let me make sure that I ordered. I know I ordered the darker shade, the darkest shade that they had, cause I, girl, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm, yep, they gave me the wrong shade. I ordered the shade Brown Sugar, which is the darkest shade, and I wanted to use that in another video that I wanted to film pretty soon, which is a testing new product video. But dang, girl, what I'm gonna do with this? What I'm gonna do with this shade? This is, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. But yeah, Artist Couture have um, new powders, and this is not the shade that I need. This will probably be something that I can use under my eyes. Girl. You know, I'm so glad that this was the last thing I had to haul. Was this the last thing? I think it was. Girl, <laughs> we got one more thing, and I promise you I am done. I picked up another bronzer <laughs> from Dior. Now, this was because of um, Jordine. Her channel is called This Is Black Beauty. And y'all know, well, if you watch her, you know that she does a lot of reviews on like um, luxury products. And of course, I had to try this out. She was talking about it. So um, actually, we were talking about it on Twitter. That's, yeah, that's why uh, we were talking about this on Twitter. Her and um, Bimi were talking about this. So I went ahead and ordered it. So it's the Dior Healthy Sun Kiss Skin Bronzer, and I got the shade eight. This is, ooh. Oh, this packaging is like, it's, y'all probably won't even, be, it's like, is this real leather? This is nice. Like, I'll be mad if I mess this up. Like, it's soft, it's squishy, and it feels like a leather purse. <laughs> but, ooh. Ooh, okay, I feel like I can definitely work with this. I don't know how the Chanel is gonna look, but this one, just looking at it, looks promising. This looks good. This looks good, okay. Okay, I'm excited for this, but that is it, y'all. That is everything that I got. I feel like I have done some damage, but like I said in the beginning, I am not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that is it, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this collective haul. Let me know if I shared anything in this haul that you guys already have. If you do, 
What do you think about it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Or if I shared anything that you guys are excited to try out, let me know that too. So let's go ahead and talk about it down below in the comments. But that is it, y'all. That is all that I have. I hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.